The next diet is the Crohn's disease exclusion diet. And I'm really excited by this one. I think it's a really neat area of research. And so this diet focuses on excluding the particular elements of the Western diet that are thought to be associated with inflammation. And so the diet is split into two phases. The first one is induction and the second one is maintenance. And it combines whole foods with liquid or enteral nutrition. So once you're in the maintenance phase, it does allow for more flexibility, including free meals and snacks. And developing the foods allowed and the foods not allowed list for this one was actually a little bit challenging because um, there is more and more variety allowed just depending on what week in the diet you are. So it starts off a little bit more strict and then as you get towards the maintenance phase and as you've been on it for longer, it allows for more foods. So there is a really high quality trial um, done on 74 children with mild to moderate Crohn's disease. And so what they did is they compared children following the Crohn's disease exclusion diet to children who are following a strict enteral or liquid nutrition only diet. And so what they found is that both diets were really effective at inducing remission by about week six. They found that this diet was tolerated better, which makes sense because it isn't just liquid nutrition, there are some whole foods allowed. This diet therefore resulted in longer remission and it did produce changes in the fecal microbiome. So again, the study wasn't just looking at self-reported symptoms, it also studied the microbiome and we did see some changes with this diet. So to date of the diets proposed for Crohn's disease patients, this one has some advantages, including it's not as restrictive in terms of essential nutrients. So there's a little bit of a less risk for deficiency. Also because there is enteral nutrition combined with these whole foods, which is important to remember. And it is a little bit of a complicated diet. So even myself reading this, I, I thought to add, again, just because it changes week by week, this would be something, again, if you're interested in learning more about, I do encourage you going to the Crohn's and Colitis Canada website. There's a fantastic webinar on it. And again, hopefully connecting with a dietitian who can absolutely help to walk you through this diet. Um, again, just be mindful of the studies that we do have currently. Um, they are in a pediatric population at this point.